Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Over the last couple of days, I've been letting you know about the better integration between Google Tasks and Google Calendar. I'll leave two previous videos linked if you'd like some more information. Now, just to let you know about another Google Tasks improvement, where Google seems to be focusing a lot of their attention um, over the last couple of days, as mentioned, which I think is good because Google Tasks is quite basic in its functionality. So some improvements are definitely needed to bring it up to par with some of its competitors. But just to let you know now that Google is now rolling out a new deadline feature for Google Tasks, which basically allows you to set a specific date by which a task must be completed. Now, I haven't received the feature as yet in my region because it's on a controlled server-side update, which is common for these new changes. But if we head over to an image provided by Android Police, here we can see Add a Deadline. And that basically means that if you right-click on the task, that will be in this right-click context menu when it does make its way to your region, in case you're wondering. Now, just take note that this is different from the app's existing ability to set a date and a time for a task, which as you may well know, serves more as a general reminder or due date. Now the deadline feature by adding a deadline is intended to help you manage more important items, such as preparing for an important meeting by setting a final date for completion, as we can see in the image provided. Now the only problem with this though according to reports, is the new deadline functionality only allows you to select a date with no corresponding option to set a specific time. Now, although this is at least a step in the right direction, adding a deadline with a date, it still doesn't bring tasks up to par with other apps like Todoist, as an example, which have long offered detailed deadline capabilities, including both date and time settings, but at least, as mentioned, this is a step in the right direction, and what I would call one of those small yet significant changes. And the new feature is being rolled out using a server-side controlled rollout, so it might not yet be available to all users, including myself, as mentioned. And the phased rollout will gradually appear on both Google Tasks mobile app and Google Task on the web as I'm showing you in this demonstration. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.